Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to Scrap Backwards and day 14 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and the dotty About Flare prompts. So today's sketch is this gorgeous hexagon one and this is an exclusive sketch that was created exclusively for 30 Days of Sketches by the lovely Jessica Michaels. Just pop that there for you. So I really love this sketch. We've got a vertical design with it focused in the middle and then we've got all these hexagons and some mixed media behind it, lots of splatters. So I am really loving that. And today's prompt from Dotty about flair is mixed media, which works perfectly with the sketch, of course. Now I am going to do some light mixed media. I'm going to do splatters at the end and I'm also going to do a bit of stenciling using this hexagon stencil from Scrapping Reflections which is the little company owned by Sandy aka Steak Goddess over on YouTube. Now this is also scrap backwards because it is Monday and that is the day Kathy and I scrap backwards but I'm going to do it a bit different this week. So this weekend we have had a cyber crop over in the scrap backwards Facebook group Hopefully you have all enjoyed it and you're getting through the challenges. You do have until the 31st of March, so do pop over. We had four challenges plus a warm-up and a surprise, so six challenges in effect. And the last surprise challenge was from Kathy, and it was all about scrapping backwards. So just bear with me a minute. I'm going to read it to you very quickly. That's what we're going to be doing today. So the name of the group is of course Scrap Backwards, then let's do it. Let's truly start with a sticker or a piece of ephemera and pull a few things that look nice with it and a few papers. Arrange them in a design you like with room for photos or not and see how versatile you can make the page without having the final story in mind. So I'm kind of doing that in the sense that I am starting with my Scrap Backwards kit but I have no clue what photo we're going to use yet. I do have a few to the side of me. I've got about 10, so I can just dip my hands in and grab one. But we're not going to choose that until the end. Okay, so I will be doing the sketch though. So I'm going to focus it here. I'm probably going to widen it a bit because it's quite a narrow design, or rather it's not all the way. So I'll probably leave a little one inch gap either side. I have pulled papers from my scrap backwards kit and punched them into hexagons using this two inch hexagon punch. And there are all sorts of papers. I focused on the blues, the yellows, the reds, the oranges, the yellows, the greens, the teals, and gone from there. It's, it's a multicolour, it's a multicolour disco. <laughs> um, as always with myself. So I am starting with this background. This is a pattern paper background and it is this paper. So this is P13, there's no, there is no planet or no place like home. I'm not sure what it is. It's this collection there. And this paper is number four and I am using this side of it, okay? And it's basically, it's a very neutral, very whitey, but it also has the startings of mixed media. So that's why I pulled this out. I love pattern paper like this because it's great as a background, as a starting point, especially when it's got some distressed elements on it. And it's just, it, it's a bit better than using white cardstock, I say, because it's giving you that little bit of color straight away. So I am going to start with some of the stenciling. Now, it's not going to match the lineup of these. That's totally okay. I don't need it to. And I think I'm going to focus on a couple of areas. So we're going to do some stenciling here, 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 and here, using one of the colours in each area. So I have my little brushes out, and these are all Catherine Pooler ink. So we've got the blue, something borrowed. The green is Lime Ricky. The orange is Orange Twist, and the red is Flame. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this and get that on there. This blue is so juicy. Juicy and moist. Okay. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to very 
lightly just come on like this now I don't necessarily need to cover all of the hexagons there will be some that are partly done and that's totally okay it's just adding that initial spot of color now I've got a bit hard there but that's okay because it will be covered so it's not the end of the world there we go and I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna leave the stencil in situ and just move on to the next colors and keep doing that so we've got all four colors Now, a question for you all. I have got the Honeybee tool stand, it's called, and it's got like a rubber thing and you stick them in. They're not holding the brushes very well, which is what I wanted them to do. How do you store your brushes? So, these. I, I thought, well, I could just shove them all in a pot, but then the colours are going to mix. Does that matter? I am curious how you all do yours. Okay. So let me know in the comments down below. And I promise I will get back to you all very, very soon. Okay. There we go. It's another packing day. We're getting to the end of it now. But I thought I'd take, take a half hour break and do this video. Because my head hurts. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I'm not focused on doing the same size or the same design with the stenciling in terms of how many hexagons we have in that. It's all very random and we are going to have the gap in the middle and that again, totally fine. Totally intentional, it's just giving us that colourful starting of our page. Okay. Just had a thought, is this a scrapping reflection stencil? But I'm sure it is. It was in the scrapping reflections area of my folder, so. Then I'm going to use a bit of this lime ricky, which is a lovely sort of lime green. Obviously, that's why it's called lime ricky. Okay, this one's a bit more patchy, but that's okay, I'll work with it. There we go, and I'm going to come up a bit like this. Okay. The orange is very toned down. We might have to come back to that. See how we get on after this red flame. Now this is a new one. I've not used this before. So hopefully it's the right red. Because I've not even tested it, guys. I'm just going in blind. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to have this one, which is also a bit of a darker colour as well which is good gives us that variety which we need okay I'm just going to put these brushes back up here so they don't get everywhere there we go and then we'll have our grand reveal this might look absolute pants I don't know I don't know but hopefully it will look okay We may also bring in some enamel dots, I'm not so sure. Should we have the reveal? Do, 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 do. Oh, yes. Loving that. I love the colour it's left behind on the stencil, actually. Now, you can see in a bit of the red and the green that I have pressed too hard. So it has bled through a little bit, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So that's our basis of it. As you can see, I've got a bit more of a gap here than here, but that, that's okay. We shall work with it. And then I'm just going to start by adding in the hexagons, really. Okay, and as I said, they're not going to line up with these, but I am going to make sure that I do them, <coughs> excuse me, the right way, if that makes sense. So for example, with these the hexagons are like that so I'm not going to go in and do it like that and I'm not focusing on the colours I'm not trying to colour match the areas I'm going in rainbow colour I'm not I'm not focused on 
only putting blue up here and only putting red down there. I have also got some of the gold vellum, which if you watched my live in the Scrap Backwards Facebook group, you will have seen me use. So I've left that in my kit. I have also made a bit of a change with my kit. I've taken out the So Happy Together sticker sheet, which wasn't working for me. I love it, but not in this kit. But I have brought in two extras in replacement of that. We've got these two half-used Simple Stories in Echo Park. Just to add in a bit more colour style. Okay, so then we're going to come down here like so. And just keep building, really. This might look absolute rubbish, but we'll see. Now, I do have a couple of the Doodlebug papers as well. Okay. So as you can see, it's just going to come down this side, and I am going to fill the page, fill this centre bit with these hexagons. Now what I should probably do is go off and do that, so that you guys just aren't watching me stick some hexagons to paper, basically. Okay, I'll do a couple more then, I'll go off and finish that pop back and we can continue on with our embellishment. Okay. Now I had, don't really have any orange. I've got this with orange in it, but I may have to pull in another one, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Okay. This Gorgeous floral from do, 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 Jen Hadfield. Okay, I'm going to pop that one there. So I don't want to cover up all of the colour, of course, because it's a gorgeous colour. So we're just going to sort of, quite randomly actually. As I said, I'm not focused on any sort of design or anything. I'm going to use a vellum there. I'm just going to put a tiniest amount of tape on it. So you can already see that I am going way off the sketch. But as always, as I always say, the sketch is there for inspiration. It gets you going. It's not intended to be a stifling point. <laughs> Okay, not sure what happened with that piece, it's a bit random. Okay, so there's just all sorts of different patterns really. There's no rhyme or no reason to it. If I need more, I'll punch a few more. Okay, let's pop this on there. I will also see how many Calvin Ball points we get from this. So what's probably going to happen is we're going to have these colours popping out of the sides and you're not really going to see a huge amount in the middle, which is good because I don't want the st uh, stamping, the stenciling to take over from the layout. It's there just for a bit, so I probably didn't need to do as much in the middle, but it's always the way, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Please do feel free to fast forward. I am going to just keep going. It's much easier in terms of editing if it's one video. So I'm just being lazy, guys. But I shan't blame anybody for fast forwarding this bit. I am going as quick as I can. Okay. Got another one here. This one says cutie and smile. So I'm going to pop that one there. And then let's focus on the other side. So, pop a dark colour one there. Then, I really love this pattern. This is from CVS. I think this is from Legendary. Okay, and I do want to put another one there. Let's have another floral this is from the coffee and co paper from photoplay 
that collection name might, might might not be right, but it's along those lines at least. And now I'm going to put this red down here. Now, of course, because I've punched my hexes, they are going to be the same size. Whether I line them up correctly is another matter, but they certainly started the same size at least. Okie dokie. There we go. Um, let's have oh, let's have another plaid. I think this is the doodle bug I heart travel plaid. Okay. And then we need to have a few here. That's not particularly straight. I don't know why my punch went a bit funny. I'm going to bring in a lovely extra vellum down here. Then we need a lot. Oh, let's have one of these. Pop that there. Let's pop a little. There and then one more, I think. Let's have this Vicky boot in. There we go. <clears throat> so it's very busy, but all those gorgeous colours and patterns. Now, I'm thinking I might add one more to the mix. Uh, let's do this one. This gorgeous cloud. There we go. So, not all of them are particularly straight, but that's fine. So, I'm just going to get rid of these ones. It, it's very busy. It's probably not how I expected it to be. I don't know what I expected. But I don't dislike it, so let's let's carry on with it. Just gonna cut off these excess pieces because as we know I like to go off the page with whatever I am doing. And that is what we are left with, guys. And I'm sure many of you are thinking, what the heck is this guy doing? And now I'm just going to build from there, really. Okay, so what I want to do is grab this. So this is a 6x4 sheet. And I think our photo is going to be 4x4, four four maybe? Mm. What size is it? It's a hexagon photo, isn't it, actually? Okay. So... Ooh, do, 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 do. What should I do? I'm just going to grab the hexagon punch again. Let's see, do I want... I don't think I will. So, I'm going to take two inches off this. And I'm going to have a square photo, not a hexagon photo. Now, I do love hexy photos. I have done that before. But because my hexagons are quite small, it would mean having a very small photo. And that's not something I want to do. Okay, so our photo will maybe go here. So I didn't really need those, but that's okay. That's the nature of it. So I'm just going to pop that there. And what I'm going to do is just put the tiniest amount of adhesive just so we can stick that on because obviously we don't know what photo we're using yet. Okay. So let's have 
let's dive into our sticker sheets and build from there. Okay, I keep saying it's going to be on an angle. I don't actually like it on an angle, so it will be straight on this occasion. Well, Adam straight. So, I've just seen on this chipboard this globe that says Adventure Awake. This is Paige Evans. So, I do want to use that. Now the backing has just come off, so we shall add some adhesive to that. And I've also seen this big floral, so we may or may not add that. So I'm going to add some Nouveau adhesive, which is it's brave because obviously I don't know what photo I'm using, so I don't know if this will go. But it is what it is. So this one is going to go, quite like the idea of it being down here, so maybe there. And I think that also helps with the fact I haven't got hexy photos, because it means I'm bringing in all the different shapes and I'm not afraid to use different shapes just because the design of the page is hexes. I'm going to use this floral, this one's really nice. I think we're going to pop that up here. Maybe here. Okay. So I'm glad I've used a couple of those. Now on to our sticker sheets. Now I'm struggling with this one, which is the one that I first brought in and built my kit around. It's very specific and I didn't think of that when I built the kit. Okay, got this little Polaroid, I quite like that. wonder if that could go there maybe. With... What about this Polaroid next to it? In fact, let's bring those up. Let's see if this works. There we go. On our inspiration, the title is sort of here. I'm probably going to move that, it'll go wherever I, I think it'll fit. And I'm going to continue with my product focus from Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group from Sarah Scraps of Thickers, Phrase Thickers. <coughs> Excuse me. I quite like the idea of this fabulous title, but is that it's quite specific if you don't know what photo you're going to use? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Just going to take out the innards. Is that it? Or no, some B. And one down there. Okay, so I thought, what? Well, yeah, should we do it? I guess our photo will fit. All of our photo, every photo anybody ever takes is fabulous, isn't it? Well, not every photo, but I'm going to go for it. I love the way that looks, there. it stands out on that very busy background. Okay, now, as I said before, I am going to see if we get any Calvin Ball points, but I'm not going to focus on the Calvin Ball points. So, for example, I know that there is a circle on there, a green on there, florals on there, etc. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to get a bit obsessed with it like I did in the live. <laughs> Quite like this koala for a bit of cuteness. What about if that went there? Why not? Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
to quite like the panda as well, but is that taking it to a new level? Who knows? There we go. And then this is a Disney collection, but I'm going to use it as a non-Disney collection, I think. And we're just going to add in a few elements from it. So we've got that little cloud. We've got happy. Obviously, some things aren't going to work, like meeting the mouse. But that's okay. These are the moments I live for. I love this star border. I've used half of it. That is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Let's see if I can make this work by popping that under there. Oh, let's have a look. Okay. And that's going to go to there. And we're going to lift this side up. And we're going to come this side. There. Quite like that, actually. That'll be like a focus for our photo. And we've got some stars. There we go. Now, I do want to add a flare in here as well. Crosses, red triangles. This is quite a long video because I did all the hexes on camera, so I do apologise. But hopefully, I'm sure a lot of you will have fast forwarded. Um, I love this teal colour. Let's have a wonky heart teal. This is an older release which some of them will be going back on the website, but there won't be many of the wonky hearts. Because it is definitely limited. Okay. And we've got the stars here. No. One of these icy ones we might use. Da, da, da. Let's pop this one down there. Loving that. I may or may not have more photos on. <coughs> or once I know what photo it is, rather. Okay. I, I actually really love how this is coming together. I don't love the way this is ripped up, but it's probably my fault for lifting it up. Okay, so then I'm going to see if there's any extra phrases that I want. So we're going to count this as a phrase thicker. Um, what about this love? Love works with any photo, doesn't it, really? Da, 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 da. Um, so that could go there. I'm going to leave that there lightly. Obviously, it depends on our photo choice. Okay. Got an arrow there. That's an orange colour, so that'll pull in all the orange that I've covered. As you can see, you can't see much of the stencil in now. But that is okay. have a bit of orange there. Then we've got these Hobbycraft chipboard. The world is yours. What about this ampersand with the gold foiling? Don't know if you could actually see that, sorry. Let's pop that up there. Because I know that gold is a <laughs> point at Calvin Ball. 
quite like that there actually so let's take that arrow up let's pop the camera there and let's pop the arrow up here then we've got Vicky B chipboard trying to get these used up story of today let's add a little bit of a decrypt to that pop that there okay I've got these Amy Tan don't think we need them and then we've got some arrows and stuff so I'm going to add a couple more arrows and I love this floral so let's even it up and pop a floral on this side. And a little arrow. I'm going to use a couple of the arrows actually. There we go. So it's, it's coming together nicely. It's coming together nicely. I'm wondering if it's time to choose our photo. Or will Kathy shout because we haven't technically finished? I don't know, guys. What do you think? I've just seen this. This is Paige Evans' Fancy Free from Pink Paisley. And I really like that. So that might go there, depending on the photo. Still trying to use up this gorgeous tag. Got some of these pink, fresh hearts. Hello, I quite like that blue hello. Okay, I think I'm going to choose my face out, and I think I'm going to narrow it down. What about these? Mm -hmm. So there's this one of Chris, this one of Chris and I, and this gorgeous one of little Sinead. Look at that. Um, now, what do I do? trying to look on the camera that one's quite nice as is that one but so is that one that one it's quite a dark photo isn't it so I think we'll go with Chris so let's see if we can cut this down sorry the trimmer isn't on the camera can't really cut Chris's head off. Well, I can, but best not, eh? It's actually, I really enjoy doing this because I could add whatever I want and I wasn't thinking, oh, that might not go with the photo. For example, would I have added a Polaroid of a house and city with an adventure weights globe and this star border with a koala with an ampersand if I knew that I was using this photo. No, probably not. But I actually quite like the way it the way it's worked. So thank you for the for the challenge, Kathy. And I would urge everybody to give it a go and truly scrap backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna back the photo in white. I think we might then back it in a bit of vellum. A, because it's a point at Calvin Ball, but B, it will give us that little goldy shine. Okay, so let's just cut this. I'm going to dig the vellum out of my box of scrap backwards. Okay. Hopefully we've got enough there, yeah. Okay. 
Oops, so easy. So I'm going to give that quite a chunky border. I love this gold vellum so much. This is from American Craft, obviously. Everything is. Um, well, no, it's not, is it really? That's a bit unfair. Um, it's from Coordinations. Co coordinations? Coordinations? Coordinations. And it's the gold vellum. Oh, I should have used the tissue paper from Kathy's parcel. I so will use that next time. This is actually, I think this is my fifth or sixth layout with this kit. And this is only the second Monday, which I'm quite pleased with myself, guys, actually. Because um, I've been trying to use the kit for 30 days videos, etc. Okay, I'm going to pop this there, love that, and then we've got love which I'm going to pop there. That actually won't work so well, oh I love it. I hope you guys love it as well, I wasn't sure at one point, but I do like it. I will come in with some splatters before we finish. Um, do, do, do. Got this green enjoy today heart. Not sure what they are, it's from Everyday Musings and it's layered stickers. It's simple stories. I've got I've used a pack of these and I've got another pack. Must have picked them up from somewhere when they were on offer. Okay, we do have this, but I don't think I'm gonna use any of them. Oh we have some of these, I'm dying to use some of these. I'm going to use these two strips actually. So I'm going to add these underneath there so it really focuses that title. Yes. Then we've got, got a frame, but no. <clears throat> Memories. Love memories, does that work? No, it's a bit, bit chunky. We do have this little arrow. Pop that there. And we do have this camera. No. I will use them at some point, I'm sure. Then I've also got these hearts. Now I do have some 3D stuff already. That is also a Calvin Ball point. But I do quite like these. But I think they might be too big for this layout now, yeah. Some wooden bits from... Where are they from? Pink Fresh. It's never too late. A lovely arrow. I'm going to pop that little flag banner there. We've got this little circle there. There we go. I love these so much. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any on though. Let's put one of them on. I'm happy to at least get two of them on. We do have the tag from Cheryl still to use. I quite like this, let your light shine a leatherette sticker. Oh, I quite like that there. Oh yes. How gorgeous is that? I've lost the little banner flag now. I am still going to use this as another point, but I'm just going to add it as a little extra there. A couple of heart stickers, let's pop one on the cloud. I'm loving the way that I've done this kit where I've just thrown everything in a box, 
things are open, lying around, and I can just dig around it. I am loving that. So I've still got these. They're planner stickers, so if I don't use them, they'll just go in my happy planner trolley. Yes, I now have a big trolley. I was going to do a video explaining it all and showing what I've got. I don't know if that's something you would all like to see or whether you're not really into memory planning. But if so, let me know and I'll film it. I'm going to use one of these. You are here. One of these wood buttons from Shimmel. Uh, maybe I'm just overloading it now. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I've got this camera one. There we go. We've still got these. Some definition stickers and the stickers. I think that's going to do it. Let me have another look. Yeah. It, it's mega busy. It's funky. It's different. It's loaded. It's gorgeous I love it I'm gonna add some gold splatters I'm just gonna get rid of these just so it's not gonna fall over there guys sorry let's get some gold high shine okay and I'm not precious about where the gold splats go on this layout at all. I do, however, don't. I do, however, don't. I don't, however, want them to go on the photo. So I guess I am precious after all. Or at least not on that part. Okay, so let's go splatter mad here. These are not splatting very well, actually. Let me just grab the other one. I don't think I activated the gold on the other one. There we go. Just gonna go over it. Got a big splatter there unintentionally, but it's fine. They are not splatting well at all. Is this the end of Heidi Gold? Let's do a little bit of Ruby. Ruby splatters. I don't really like the way that gold's done, but can't change it now. These are Dina Wakely glass sprays in Ruby. So I really love the red colour, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Last one. Love. And that friends is going to do it let me just lift this off there we go and pick this up to show you there is the finished layout thank you all so very much for joining me today for day 13 14 no sorry guys i said it wrong before it's day 14 of 30 days of sketches thank you all so much for joining me and for all of your support messages of support and caring while life has been tough for the last month i really do appreciate you all so thank you i will be back tomorrow with stash dive tuesday and day 15 the halfway mark until then do pop over to see what the lovely kathy has been up to she will have her video up for you as well and links down below for that as well as everybody else playing along with 30 days of sketches thank you all so very much bye for now